Hey, uh, I'm Tilda Teakins, don't like intros, so we're just going to get on with it. Um, there's a lot of writing that I've put um, in this video, so maybe pause it. I can't read that fast, so I won't be able to read it out. Um, the base is calico with PVA, um, and the hair that I've used for this wig is mohair wool brushed out with a little comb. Um, Make sure things dry in between what you're doing, because otherwise the PVA gets really gummy and horrible. Um, and also make sure you protect your head with cling film. Um, the way that I made the cap was with PVA and calico. Um, so you want to use a bit of wire and sew it onto the cap. That's just to keep it nice and stiff and sturdy. Um, make sure the wire overlaps at the back um so it doesn't move anywhere it also helps it to like fit onto the head and stop the fabric going anywhere um i used a straight needle but it's probably going to be best to use a leather needle if you've got one the beginning bit is really fiddly when you do this so just persevere follow that line and keep checking for symmetry um it does take a while be patient it's really important for the structural integrity of the wig. Um, if you're using a leather needle, um, I'd suggest to wear a thimble um, and try not to push too hard so that you don't damage your doll head um, on the inside. Um, you could even use a bit of clay on the inside that's the same size as your doll head, um, just to make sure you're not accidentally stabbing it. Um, so here we go. I, it's probably worth mentioning this is the first time I've sort of done anything like this after a lot of research um, and I'm trying to get into making videos of processes um, for myself so I can remember them but also in case anyone else is interested and wanted to try um, making stuff like this. Um, sorry for the noise background, it's raining outside and there are cars going past. Um, I listen to a lot of podcasts when I'm sewing or making stuff. Um, the one that I like at the moment is the Blind Boy podcast. He's an Irish um, comedian. He's great, really, really fun, wholesome. Um, so take your head out, take the cling film off and carefully just pull the cling film out of the calico. Um, careful not to disturb the stitches, just sort of pull it out nice and easy. It's actually really satisfying. Um, and then you should have a sort of little dome, like a kind of ghost with a silvery crown on it. <laughs> um, more PVA. I, I love PVA, it's great, I use it for everything. Um, so more PVA inside and outside. Don't worry about the bits hanging down, just focus on the wig cab cap. And once that is dry, cut round, um, leaving sort of 1.5 to 2 millimetres edge on that. Um, it should fit perfectly um, depending on the shape of your doll's head. Um, I like to do it slightly rounder at the front and then slightly pointy at the back. Um, I believe that's called like a duck's tail in hairdressing. Uh, uh, but I'm not sure I could just be making that up. Um, yeah, so even if you tip it upside down, it shouldn't come off, um, which is really nice because there's no glue or anything. So you can just pop different wigs for the same doll or you can just pop it on and off. Or you can also have the option to glue it down permanently if you want to. Uh, okay, the aluminium wire is soft, so try not to bend it, squish it, move it because it will weaken it over time. Um, so I'm adding more PVA. More PVA, more PVA. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, cut lengths of baking paper, uh, about one inch wide and yeah, 14 inches long, 12 inches long. The length doesn't really matter. Um, do probably better for this to 
prepare more hair than you need um, rather than less because it's really annoying to go backwards and have to do this stage over again. Um, you can use Cancolon, synthetic hair, brushed wool, fine thread, real hair, um, just twisted wool, sort of, yeah, you can use all kinds of things. You want to cut your length of hair to double the length that you want, um, and I'll explain why later, but yeah, double the length of the hair that you want. Um, get some PVA. Um, take a pinch of hair and like brush a little line of PVA onto the baking paper um, stick the hair down and just kind of spread it out with your fingers and make sure it's um, not kind of in chunks make sure it's quite smoothly um, smoothly kind of put onto the PVA um, and make sure that it's right in the middle that you're placing it so you've got an equal amount of hair on both sides um, coat with more PVA um, and then you just want to repeat. Um, this, like sewing the aluminium one, is a process which takes quite a long time so get a cup of tea, get your favourite podcast um, and just yeah get going with it. Um, it's also pretty messy, I mean the PVA is messy but like you, you will get hair everywhere um, I don't own a cat, but I imagine if I did, it would be like this all the time. Um, I was had hair stuck to my clothes for weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've put here 50 centimetres of tracing paper. I put tracing paper. You can use tracing paper or baking paper, so it doesn't really matter. You just need to make sure it's something that the um, that's not going to stick, that you can peel off afterwards. Um, 50 centimetres, you could go for 70, I mean it depends on how thick you want the hair, how big your head is, like loads of different, um, depends on a lot of different things, so um, you choose. And then you just keep going. Um, I also sort of went back on myself with the PVA and went back on myself with kind of separating the strands out and kind of trying to keep it nice and even um, the hair kind of wants to move in one way or another and I'm just allowing that for now um, okay really important on this next bit um, make sure you leave the PVA to dry completely absolutely completely dry like 24 hours 12 hours like leave it for a long time um, otherwise you risk ruining your sewing machine Okay, thread up with a thread that matches your hair colour, or your doll's hair colour, not your hair colour, unless they're the same of course. <laughs> um, and sew two lines about four millimetres apart over the glued length of the baking paper. Um, so that's perpendicular to the direction of the hair. I might just be saying that in a confusing way, but there'll be a little... Um, video that shows exactly what I'm talking about in a little bit. It will all make sense. Um, make sure to backstitch across the um, the ends that at the start and at the end of where your sewing is um, just to keep keep that hair in place and choose the shortest stitch length. Um, so most machines it can be like 0.5 or 0.2 um, so make sure that you've got really, really tiny stitches. Oh, got a little bit of video lag there. Yeah, so there I am doing it to the other bit of hair, just one line, turn it around, a few stitches, another line the other way, with a little gap in the middle. Okay, so this is what it should look like at the end. Um, you want to cut between the two lines, making sure you're not cutting through any thread, just straight down the middle. 
um, and then carefully peel the baking paper off um, and maybe cut a few little bits um, cut the bit, bits of PVA or the spare bits of thread off just kind of neaten it up a little bit if there's any stray hairs going the wrong way cut them off as well This is another bit that's quite satisfying. <laughs> it's like peeling the top off of a yogurt pot. <laughs> do I just make art or do art because it's satisfying? It's probably a large part of it. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, what you'll be left with is the hair, the stitches that have kept it in place, and then the PVA, which is just like keeping all the hair stuck together and, and keeping the stitches nice. Okay, so we're going to do that with all, all of the hair lengths. You might have slightly less, you might have slightly more than what I've got. Okay, so protect the head with cling film. Um, pop the wig cap on and start gluing the hair. Um, from the bottom up little bits at a time so I started gluing on the sort of one millimeter bit that's just underneath the aluminium wire um, and that's just so that it because the hair the width of the hair is about the same as the aluminium wire and I didn't want the hair to bump over the top of the wire I wanted it to lay flat so the first hair that I did all the way around the wig um, just sits underneath the aluminium wire and then the next bit of hair all the way around goes above the aluminium wire. Um, there's some video lag happening here. Um, this is the first sort of video that I've done of this kind um, and I don't have all of the tech required to make professional videos. Um, I am a costume making person, not a video making person, but I hope it's not too distracting and that you can still see clearly what is going on. Um, different bits of hair when you cut them, they'll kind of, if you hold them up, they'll hang in a certain way, so they'll hang sweeping left or sweeping right. You can use that um, to decide where to place the pieces. So if it's a bit of hair sweeping right, then maybe stick it on the right side of the face so that it sweeps away from the face. Um, I wanted hair to kind of cover the face. Originally I wanted like an emo fringe, um, so I've stuck a bit kind of right on the front, um, sticking, sticking down slightly to the left. Um, keep going round in tiny little sections um, until the whole head is covered. Um, put little bits of PVA on top and underneath the hair. Um, make sure that you're kind of pushing it down onto the onto the wig cap so you don't get any gaps in between. Um, and if you've got a, a hair dryer or like a little blowing hot air tool, I can't remember what they're called, um, you can use that if you hold the hair down with a tool. Um, I'm actually using one of my clay um, sculpting tools here um, just to kind of push the hair down um, nice and solid. When you get to the end um, you just want to cut the widths of hair quite small and then just kind of go round in a circle um, at the crown. The other way that you can do it if you wanted like a ponytail is to cut a length of hair maybe like two, two and a half inches and then roll it up um, roll it up kind of along the stitch line um, and then just stick that on as one but you'd need to leave that to dry first separately before you stick it on. Um, Yes, you just keep going round. 
again pay attention to symmetry try and get it symmetrical if that's the look you're going for okay so leave it to dry again leave it to fully dry um, if you've got a bit of mucky PVA at the crown um, just pop some paint on it um, or an accessory maybe make a hat I don't know um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here the other wig was quite easy to style but this um, cancalon's quite stiff um, so I'm this is just me freestyling <laughs> experimenting with um, how to style um, what to do I give a little haircut um, the good thing about making a wig cap to go on your doll is that if it turns out really bad you can you can just take the cap off um, and make another one um, you haven't permanently stuck anything to your doll head um, so I was trying to kind of twist bits kind of move bits around sort of see where the hair wanted to go how it wanted to sit um, it's just a lot of kind of playing about to start with um, and trying to see what the, what the character wanted um, kind of tried pinning bits in place to kind of test little bits out um, I'm quite liking the the big kind of side bunches it reminds me of like the medieval cones that um, people used to have women used to have like on their heads with all the hair inside or um, so I think I'm gonna keep that um, so this is me felting the fibers so you use a felting needle a normal needle won't work to mat the fibers so they stay in place um, so you're just squishing them all and tangling them all inside um, felting needles are really really sharp so if you're using one please please be careful <laughs> um, I'm just experimenting here with a, a, a little bone accessory seeing if that works um, more felting <laughs> it takes a while but you can get quite precise with it and and get the bits matted that you want to get matted without affecting the rest of it okay and here I'm just tying a bit of string around the bun and pulling it to try and kind of make make the bun at the back quite liking the windmill effect I've got going on here um, once you're happy with it just like give it some spray with hairspray and kind of sort of like you would real hair this kind of act a bit like real hair um, yeah put put some spray in it to hold it and and you're done <laughs> um, I just kept trimming and playing and, and moving it around it's quite fun <laughs> So this is what I ended up with. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I enjoyed the process. I don't think this is the easiest material to work with, um, but if you try it um, and you discover anything that helps, please let me know. Um, thank you. Bye.